Today's school spotlight takes us to one of the four middle schools in the Osseo district. When it first opened in 1970 in Brooklyn Park, Northview was a junior high. Today, it's a middle school educating students from around the world. This actually, if you go around that corner, my science class was on that side. At Northview Middle School, Principal Diana Bledsoe walks the halls with a unique perspective. Once you're a knight, you're always a knight. In the early 1990s, Principal Bledsoe was a student here. Back then, the student population looked very different. I was probably, uh, as a black female, I was probably one of maybe 20. And right now we are 90% students of color from a variety of backgrounds. Today, Northview Middle School is one of the most diverse schools in Minnesota. Many of the 672 students in 6th, 7th and 8th grades bring an international flavor to the school with heritage from Africa, Asia and Central America. Well, you have a student body that um, has a background from across the world. It is incredibly important to make sure that they see themselves in the curriculum. At this school, honoring and incorporating student voice and culture is a big deal. And this is about a um, student whose father really wants him to be a basketball star. Um, an African-American dad who wants his son to be a basketball star and he's just not into basketball at all. Library media specialist Anna Teeple works to bring in new books that better reflect her students' lives. People have commented when they come to Northview, they see our students walking around with books. Kids have them in their in their arms and they, they check out and they're excited. And, and I did have a student come up to the desk and say, to actually voiced, I'm checking these book out, books out because there, there are pictures of me they look like me. Practice. Talk with your table. This school doesn't shy away from important conversations about race and equity. What do those things look like? For staff, that means embracing what they don't know and learning from it. I was shocked and a little bit angry that I didn't know all of these things that I feel like I should have known. And so now I just keep digging and learning and, and continue to grow and learn as a teacher, and that's exciting. It's Northview dad Keith Venus makes a point of spending a day in the school several times a year. I've come to the school, you know, walked through classes with my kids, and it's very inviting that staff is awesome. And that's how you'll know. What he likes best is how his daughter is treated and how she's grown into an A-B student even while she learns with dyslexia. They encourage her, and that's what I like. Mm -hmm. I love that because I don't want her to, like, use it as a crutch. And that, that Principal that, Bledsoe has walked that, in her students' that, shoes. And knowing that I went here and their teacher went here and the hall monitor went here makes them think that, all right, I can potentially be the principal, the teacher, or in that school community. There's a community of Northview Knights, past and present here, and there's an understanding. They're all in it together. It's all about us understanding that we are a school community and that we rise and fall together. Each year, Northview students take on community service projects too, and in September, students made blankets for victims of Hurricane Harvey.